This here Mr. Ignit TV episode was created and produced with the donations and support from viewers like you. Thank you. All right, baby. <clears throat> good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever the case may be. I am Musty Ignit, the camp life. Mr. Tiffel said body fat all in that back, cutting haters no slack. Word up, word up. Mr. Temper said this here. Y'all know the deal, y'all know the drill. Shout out to the creator, heaven and earth above all. Shout out to all of my supporters. I really, really, really appreciate it. Hope everybody's doing all right right about now. It's been a while since I've been doing, uh, getting in the swing of things of doing commentaries on a regular basis. And I just dropped that, what it was like in the 80s and 90s being a black anime head back in the day hope y'all uh, check that out but if not that's cool too word up word up shout out to the folks that support me on patreon shout out to the twitch subs uh the channel members what have you all the donations red shirt folks that hit me up on the gram twitter at mr ignan and at mr ignan one the podcast y'all know word up word up anyway I want to touch on five subjects. Number one, being the Steelers fight that happened last week. The Olympics, X Defiant, the 53-year-old man with the 20-year-old side piece, and Black Ops 6 leaks, score streak leaks. Starting in at the number one subject, Word up, word up. We're going to talk about the Steelers fight. Now, what I understand is Justin Fields threw a touchdown and Russell Wilson was having a bit of a rough day. By the way, I am a avid Steelers fan down here in H-Town. And by the way, if you hear any strange sounds, I am riding around in H-Town taking care of business going from point A to point B. So if y'all hear any weird noises... It's because I'm riding around in one of my vehicles doing what I do. Word up, word up. Going from point A to point B. Now, having said that, the Steelers fight. Now, let me say a little bit of something about that. Uh, like I said, from what I understand, Justin Fields that threw a, a nice spiral touchdown and Russell Wilson was having a rough day. And the word on the street is that Justin Fields said something like, well, the starting Steelers QB shouldn't be here. He should be fixing Subway sandwiches. Saying that in front of uh, Mr. Wilson, in front of mixed public. So from what I understand, Mr. Wilson gave him an open hand slap. Like, hey man, how you gonna disrespect me? in front of the team like that. Because everybody knows Russell Wilson's gonna get the benefit of the doubt. I know that the Denver fans are hot like fire, I would be too. But being the Steelers fans, I hope that we kick the tires the right way and get this guy to uh, give us some pro productivity. <laughs> OP produces for my Steelers. So that's the deal on the fight. And I think that if that is, is true, Justin Fields should definitely take a step back, let the old man cook, learn from him. Obviously, he's the quarterback of the future, but Russell Wilson is the chief efficient band-aid. Hopefully, they'll learn from the lesson I put out on Twitter when I heard about the fight that, hey, man, why don't y'all save that energy for the season because hey, the preseason game hasn't even started yet for them boys and they're already fighting in camp every other day but not really a big deal because even when I played football in high school or whatnot we had our fair shares of scraps so that's nothing new if you ever played any type of sport, you have your scraps you have your dust ups no biggie, word up Subject number one. Subject number two. The Olympics. 
preferably the basketball situation. Now, a lot of folks was jumping on the USA when Sudan was getting with them, South Sudan, preferably. Let me say something about that because a lot of people won't say the things that I say because everybody doesn't think the same, but let me say a little bit of, a little bit of this about what I think about it. Leave the Sudanese people alone. Okay, oh, y'all don't even have an indoor court. <laughs> Talking that shit. And, and in my opinion, they're not the Sudanese. Don't you mean the real Egyptians? <clears throat> Please don't, you know, for the people that listen to me. Y'all know I don't give a damn. This, you know, the real Egyptians got pushed out of uh, that section of Africa and they were forced into the south during the Mizrahim Empire. Sudan, Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, all of those folks are refugees getting away from the, uh, the ancient invasions. So, in my opinion, and by the way, you know, I don't think that those invaders from those empires would have pushed those lovely people in Ethiopia, you know, they pushed all of those folks out to, ah, y'all, y'all don't look like us, Con convert to the Muslim faith. Hey, if that's what you like, that's what you like. But a lot of them went, of the original people of Egypt went south. And uh, if they knew what they knew now, they wouldn't have did that because they pushed them right toward those like, 44 trillion tons of mountain gold ore and precious minerals. But I digress. That's what I think about the NBA Olympics. And you know, I've seen quite a bit of gold medals in the track and field and all of that. But I was just jumping on LeBron and them. And it was kind of a good chuckle seeing Godfrey and uh, Michael Blackston jumping them boys a little bit. Hey, calm that down on my African brothers and sisters. A little, a little taste. A little taste, because in my opinion, Historically, that is nothing but uh, Shem versus Ham, an ancient edition. Hold up, hold up, let me change the subject. That probably went over a lot of people's heads. Subject number three, the time is moving on. X Defiant. X Defiant lately has been sweaty as a mug. Very sweaty. By the way, this is Call of Duty. This is Modern Warfare Roman numeral two. And uh, I, th I think I do like, what, 30, 30 and 11, something like that, 30 and 10, something like that. I, I didn't do too bad. Word of word of old man pawpaw camping, Russian crushing, whatever you want to call it. But X Defiant, I don't think it's SBM, I, SBMM as much. I think it's just that a lot of the people from X Defiant are coming from the Call of Duty. And a lot of us Call of Duty casual players take it a little bit too far with the sweat. And I don't think it's SBMM. I just think it's the patterns of the modern FPS shooter. Far gone are the days of the casual gaming, especially when it comes to PvP. Extra fine is sweaty as hell. But it is fun because it is free. And... The update was fantastic of what they're doing with the weapons. Because leveling up weapons is a grind, grind, grind. Baby. Moving on. Subject number four. Recap. Subject number one, the Steelers fight. Subject number two, the Olympics. Subject number three, X Defiant being sweaty as a mug right now. Subject number four. Let me say a little bit something like about this side pieces you know some people have them some people don't have them in a nutshell there was a 53 year old man that had it a 20 year old side piece for the layman a side piece is a woman on the side beside your girlfriend and your wife that you have fun with now from what I understand that they were messing with each other for a little bit under a year he was tricking hard, having this fun. He tried to break it off. She told his wife. Him and his wife start having problems. A little bit more than a week later, she was found in an abandoned house, tied and beat up and, uh, and burnt up. 
I'm, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna drop the subject because I know a lot of people be ear hustling and listening to what I say. And I don't mean any uh, malice, malicious intent. But uh, if you're gonna need it, if you need a job done, personally, get a professional to do it. Don't leave an amateur. Let me just, yeah, that's it is what it is. If you really want a job done right, get a professional. Moving on. Subject number five, last but not least. The Black Ops 3 looking... <laughs> should I say Black Ops 3 looking? The Black Ops 6 score streaks. The reason why Freudian slip Black Ops 3 because the shit looks like Black Ops 3. I mean, come on. It looks like Black Ops 1 on the Black Ops 3 engine. That's supposed to be next level. I understand they're trying to do that thing and cross-platform and it's going to be on old generation platforms. But all of those score streaks, they look shabby. They look like BO1 and BO3 uh, had a love child. I mean, nothing real spectacular. If that's the best they got, I'm going to wait for zombies. I want to know what modes they're going to have because, ugh. Yeah, the future is looking, and we got to deal with SBMM with old school graphics and old school engine looking. I don't know. It, it didn't look good. It didn't look sexy at all. The guns looked all right, but the maps, uh, uh, the, the graphics had a lot to be desired. Word up, word up. And uh, I see a lot of people getting, you know, as they say, super duper cooper excited about the shit. I don't see it, folks. I don't see what all the hype is about. And I have the Xbox subscriptions or whatnot and the, the Game Pass and all of that. I'll probably give it a try doing the beta, but I'm not going to be giving my hopes up. Word up, word up. Thinking about coming back to YouTube and streaming, but eh, eh. Keep it at all the way 100. Twitch is more for me because I like to play my own personally produced music. And uh, that's that on that. But a uh, shout out to everybody that's been checking out my material on Twitch and giving me full support. Extra, extra, extra shouts out to Germany. Extra, extra, extra shouts out to Australia. Word up, word up. You guys are fantastic. And I'll say this just about as long as I got a. A platform, any type of platform. The folks overseas support me a thousand percent more than folks in my own damn country. It is what it is. Tell the truth, shame the devil. The devil is very shame right about now. But I really, really enjoy being on Twitch and I'm thinking about making a YouTube comeback. We shall see. So, that's just about it. That's all I got. Shabbat shalom to the 12 righteous. Y'all get y'all asses in the gym. I might come back with another five subjects. Who knows? Y'all take care. Be safe. And yeah, that's all I got. Y'all know how to reach me. At must Dignity and at must Dignity one. And we gonna holler, baby. All right. Did you happen to forget a gift this holiday? Well, Mr. Ignit has you covered. Head on over to Mr. Ignit's store for some hoodies, hats, and shirts for people of all ages and sizes. That's shop.spreadshirt.com backslash Mr. Ignit.